to all of my fabity fab viewers. So today was the Udolpha reunion panel and for all of those that missed it, I wish I could tell you it was no big deal, but that would be a total lie. There wasn't really a consensus among the cast members as to what would have happened in the next season, seeing as everybody claims that it wasn't planned out, but please, we totally know that's not true. Oh, and they showed a never before seen blooper reel. It's going to be a special feature on the 10 year anniversary Blu-ray. The panel was amazing, but that was not actually the end of my day. I got to talk to the cast and the creators in special interviews. It was so surreal. Uh, I chatted with Anne Radcliffe for a bit and got to ask her about the motivations of Montoni and whether or not she saw him as the villain or if it was more so the underlying supernatural element and whether or not she saw Henry and Emily as the endgame. These are things that I've been speculating on for literally the past 10 years, so it was kind of a big moment for me. I can't post those interviews here for a bunch of legal copyright reasons, but something kind of weird happened after my interview with Henry, and Leslie said I could have it, so here it is. Thank you so much for coming in. It was really nice to talk to you again. I hope you didn't miss questions about room service in the 405 too much. You did a very good job, Kate, from Persona Magazine. Thanks. <laughs> So now I'd like to do an exclusive interview with Kate's Corner. Did you, did you Google me? No. <laughs> I knew who you were when Leslie introduced us last night. Oh. You think I wouldn't know one of the top Udolfo fan sites out there? Especially one that's so Luke Valancourt centric. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's cool. I, you do get a little complimentary, but overall I think you do some of the most insightful thought pieces I've ever read. Wow. Thank you. You haven't been on there recently, have you? <laughs> I don't think you want me to answer that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> no, if it's any consolation, I think you handled yourself very well last night. I mean, especially considering you're such a fan. I've had fans cry and rip my clothes off before. Well, I mean, I was trying to be professional. I, I was on the clock, but if I hadn't been, you know, I might have been crying and trying to rip your... Clothes <laughs> off? <laughs> uh, wouldn't you like to know? All right, come on. Let's, uh, let's do this interview for Kate's Corner. Well, I think Kate's Corner just used most of her best stuff for, uh, Persona Magazine. <laughs> but not all of her stuff? Off the cuff, come on. Okay, off the cuff. Favorite food? I think I'll go with In-N-Out Cheeseburger, animal style, no tomato. Why no tomato? Too slimy. I would think a Udolphet like yourself would have something a little more insightful than favorite food. Well, you said off the cuff and I'm hungry. Would the lady like uh, some airline peanuts that have been in my pocket since yesterday? No, I will respectfully pass, but thank you. Okay, you want insightful. Did you see Luke Valancourt as damaged because of his upbringing or because of how cruelly Emily dashed his heart aside? Wow, well, it's very clear where you stand on the Emily Luke ship. Uh, I think it's a combination of both. His upbringing and the abandonment issues he developed as a kid make it difficult when tending to a broken heart. Okay, the Henry Tilney and Luke Valancourt-centric readers over at Kate's Corner would like to know why you haven't done anything since Udolpho. I've been too busy scouring fan sites. <laughs> um, honestly, the show started when I was 18, and it ended when I was 19, I really at that point didn't have a lot of control over what was happening in my career. So you didn't want to be on Udolpha? Uh, no, I love the show. Um, it's just, when it was cancelled, my de People wanted me to take a certain career trajectory that I wasn't sure I wanted to take. I didn't even know if I wanted to be an actor. Well, what about now? Well, I know that I want to have control over my life and I think that I want acting to be a part of it. Yeah, what about you? Uh, what about me? <laughs> what do you want to do with your life, aside from write for Persona? Well, I mean, some people would consider that the end game. <laughs> but what does Kate Moreland of Kate's Corner want? Well, Kate is pretty hyped about her new job that actually is paying her to write. But, in the long run, somewhere down the road, I don't know, once she has some contacts and clout, she would like to start her own website. Probably geared more towards fandoms. 
Also, she's going to stop referring to herself in the third person. <laughs> well, I think that you'd be very good at that, Kate. Thank you, and I think you are a great actor. So, give me something new to write about already, would you? <laughs> yeah, well, I will see what I can do for you, <laughs> and for the readers at Kate's Corner, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it seems that the Comic-Con powers that be are a little disappointed that Kate's Corner has stolen you away for so long. <laughs> yeah, well, they can call it my lunch break, oh. and lunch is on me. Thanks. <laughs> it's good to see you again, Kate Moreland. Yeah. <laughs> strange it is to be carrying on a conversation with Henry Tilney. I mean, there I am, sitting across from him, trying to separate him from this image that I have of him in my head. And honestly, I feel like I've been hit with a confundus charm. Ugh.